Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Cracked Games onto the Steam Deck. And if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of stuff, Cracked Games, Emulation, Gaming Handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, this is all we talk about. So please subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download the Cracked Game. I've downloaded ActRaiser Renaissance. And this one's a ISO file, it's a disk image file, so I need to mount it to my PC and then run it. So I've mounted it to E drive and it has the setup file here. Sometimes you download the crack game and it's just the setup file and you can install it directly, or sometimes it's just a zip file or RAR file and you can unzip it and run the game directly. Uh, this one's uh, a ISO file, so I've mounted it and I'm going to run the setup here. Okay, I trust this file, so I'm going to run anyway. Okay, I'm going to turn off the music. And I'm going to check the installation file. It's on D drive games. That's good for me. And then I'm not going to create a start menu folder. And I'm going to copy the contents of codex directory to the install directory. So let's just install it. Have you played this game? It's a remake of the Super Nintendo game. It's a good one. Okay, so I finished installing and then I normally run it on the PC just to make sure it works. Because if it doesn't work on the PC, it's likely not going to work on the Steam Deck. Okay, so this game looks good. It's working. Yep, looks good. Okay, I'm going to quit. And then I'm going to go to the directory that I installed it to. So D drive games and act razor, double check the files. Looks good. I'm going to copy this to, I'm going to send it to my steam deck through Warpinator. So I'm transferring the whole game directory. So this one act, act razor, I'm going to transfer it to my steam deck. Okay, so it's waiting for approval and here's my capture card connected my Steam Deck to it. So, yep, I've opened Warpinator and it's waiting to transfer. So, okay. So, let's just wait for it to transfer. Okay, it takes 10 minutes. So, um, I'll fast forward this part and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so it's completed. So let's go back to our Steam Deck. Okay, and we're going to open the folder. Double check that everything is good. Yep. So now we go to our Steam library. And then we're going to add a game. Add a non Steam game. Click on browse and then let's locate the directory. So downloads, Warpinator, and then ActRaiser and this ActRaiser R.exe. So I'm going to add selected program and then on the left hand side, I'm going to locate it. Okay, so it's here. And I'm going to go to properties. Okay, I'm going to change the actuator r.exe. So I don't want to type it because I don't know how to type Renaissance. So let's just copy it here. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to change the compatibility to Proton Experimental. All right. Let's try to run it and see if it works. Okay, so that's how you do it. We're on desktop mode, so we need to get it to work on game mode as well, because we're mostly playing it on game mode. So let's just quickly get out of this game. 
and check it out on game mode. Okay, so I'm going to go to game mode now, close everything up. So see you in game mode. Okay, we're back in game mode. So first thing, what are we gonna do? We're gonna change the artwork, make it all look nice and pretty. I'm gonna use the official artwork, but that's up to you. Okay, looking good. So let's start the game and see if it works. Yeah, we got it to work. So let's try and play a bit of it. Play your name. Okay. So that was easy, right? That's how you install crack games onto your Steam Deck. The easy way. Alright, this game looks good. Alright, so I think I'll leave it here. Um, if you like this video, or if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.